guys, welcome back to another episode of Humber Coy. So the end of the season is quickly approaching. Temperatures today are just over 11 degrees and we're going to do an end of season ball up. Measure all of our Koi and update our Koi control app. Ready for next season so we can see how much growth we get next time. We'll back the feeder off. So now we're down to uh, three small feeds a day and when it dips below 10 we'll knock it down to two just in the um, highest temperature points of the day that we can do. So let's whip the net off the pond and we're going to start boiling up and we'll start measuring. That's the measuring done guys, just had a quick phone call from Grandpa, we're going to fly over to his house. He's struggling with water so we're going to go give him a quick hand with that. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to Humbercoy. So, my dad has been pumping for hours. Obviously this British weather is making it really hard to lay a box. So let me show you where we're at with um, with hours of pumping. He's got the pump in the bottom drain. Now this was full to the rim of water. Right up to the uh, right up to the house drain there. So he's, he's already cleared quite a bit of water. Still quite a lot more to go and obviously the ground's going to be saturated around here now so I imagine it'll all be running into this for the next few days. So 
So we, um, it's a good job we put that sump in really. Managed to throw the, the pump in there and pump it out. My dad's just been and told me that this metal rod here was the water level this morning before he started pumping it out. But we're due a load more rain tomorrow. It's meant to be horrible tomorrow. So at least now that sump pumps in there on a float switch and can kind of keep it manageable. And when we get, when we, when we get a few dry days, we can uh, sort it out. Fish are all looking well. It'd be really nice to get these in a, a bigger room. Absolutely peeing it down. Try and see if I can see his, uh, his new one from George. I think it's over the back, just there. Some really nice fish in there. It's normally that green that you can't see them. What a day, guys. We started off by measuring all our koi, and we are both, me and Leo, really happy with the growth we've had on them. We can only put it down to Takazumi mix because it's certainly not the summer. We've uh, well unheated, so. You can't put it down to great temperatures or great weeks. I think we had one good week this year of good temperatures. And even that seemed to just snap by. Um, Grandpa's house, on the other hand, he's been struggling at the moment. Hopefully, by leaving that sump pump in there on a float switch now, we should be able to manage the water. And if we get a dry weekend, we should be able to take the first few cars to the blocks down. But it won't be this weekend, because this weekend we are at Daz's Koi Farm. He's got some um, Benigoy that he's letting go from this year's um, spawning. He's doing a grow on event. All the information is on Gaz's Facebook page. I'll put the details up here. He's selling them for £10. I think there's still a few spots left. So anybody interested, jump onto that post on Gaz's Facebook page and you'll have all the information. So if you can do us a huge favour, you can uh, drop the, give the video a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.